So I hope you are well and you are having a good time so far. I am Alketa Vestiu and I come from a small country named Albania. During the last year, I have heard so many TED Talks that when I start writing this speech, I thought I should be careful to not repeat what has been said before. Everyone has a story here in this room and each of us is unique. All of you are here unique and have your own story that can inspire people because no journey is the same with someone else's journey. If you're a person today that feels lost, scared, doesn't know where to start, but also you are uh, very energetic, you are full of dreams, then you are me 26 years ago at the start of my career, but you are also me today. This is the beautiful thing with life, that our dreams are not a destination, but are a journey. And once we achieve something, we restart the process again and again. I want to say to all of you, never let go of your dreams, but let go of small expectations. And this, trust me, will make your ride more fun. You can't control what people say or do, but one thing is sure, you can control what you think. So keep always a positive thought in your mind. A quick line to say that I work as TV host and TV producer. I started to work on the radio and the TV at the age of 12, counting 26 years now in the television industry. I'm also a serial entrepreneur and digital entrepreneur. I have founded during the last 11 years six brands in the events and fashion industry. Most of my brands have the mission to change the way people live and mainly to support and inspire women to change the way they live. Today, I'm adding to my million words on YouTube as a TV host, this short talk that is very personal to me and very close to my heart. And when I asked my Instagram followers on my story a few weeks ago, what would they like to listen from me in this beautiful conference? The most common answers were four. I pick up the first one. What is your formula of being successful? The second one was how do you make things happen and turn dreams into reality. The third question was, how do you do so many things at the same time? And the fourth question was, how is it possible that you seem so happy always and where does that strength come from? You seem so positive all the time. So I thought to base my speech on these questions today and I'm going to start with the first one. Question number one, what is your formula of being successful? There are no formulas of being successful. It is not like a cake recipe that you find on the internet, then you make a big mess in the kitchen, you try to bake a delicious cake at the end or you fail. Uh, I don't want to say cliche things about success that I've read, but I have some principles that I refer to when I make my decisions that I would like to share with you today. There are two categories of people I met through my journey. The first category are the people who say, you're nothing, you are not special, you're superficial, you're artificial, she's not worthy she will never succeed. Anyone here has been in my shoes in a certain situation in his life? I know that there are a few of you here that have been in my shoes. So I'm not alone. We have been in the same boat somehow in this life. Being a famous person has a very high price to be paid when it comes to fake news and the invasive opinions of everyone. I'm not talking here about healthy criticism. I'm talking about haters and pseudo critics who have now the right to express their world and to be listened. Even a genius, even a fool, today have this equal opportunity to say what they think. Okay, that's democracy, that's freedom, but there is a limit. You cannot imagine what it has been invented to disturb my path and create obstacles in my work. But you know what I can tell at the end of the story? No one can steal your talent and your destiny. I believe in God and who is God gifted in any industry, small or big. He has to feel protected because of his talent. No one can stop what is meant to be unstoppable. So don't forget this. Unfortunately, most of the cyber bullies are women. But I have chosen to support women and I focus on the women that support women too. Most of my companies are designed to support women, live a happier life. This is how we create a community and this is how I keep the focus on my own energy and on positive thinking and on my dreams especially. I try not to get distracted from the bullies as they are like a strong wind for a sailor in the sea. You need to learn to manage the wind as much as you can, otherwise the wind might change the direction of your journey. Lessons to be learned. Do not let negative comments change your direction. Focus on your dream and on you. And remember, you are not enough. You are more than enough. Thank you. The second category, the second category is Rocky Balboa's coach, Mickey 
who will never let you fall. Do you remember those words? Come on, Rock, you're a champion, you cannot fail, you cannot fall, stand up. Yes, you need that voice in your life and that person that treats you like a champion even when you fall. Having a great mentor is a privilege in life and a blessing. I'm lucky to count at least three important persons in my life as mentors. Take a moment now and count four persons in your life that have impacted your life. If you think for a while, you know you are the sum of those people. Also, something that is very important to me as Alketa is uh, gratitude. I teach my, my kids gratitude. I believe gratitude rewards people, and that's an important part of being su successful. If gratitude doesn't grow in you, in your heart, it will not give you its fruits. Yes, I have met both categories in my life. I felt weak many times, I've cried, I've suffered for no reason, but that's how life goes, you know? When you climb the top of the mountain and you are projected for that, there is always a force of pulling you down until you reach the top. Maybe it's because the human nature is very complex and complicated. But try to understand, it's not because they hate you, it's because they can't be you. You've got something they don't. Stay humble and don't challenge them. I would recommend, by my experience, to stay near to the second category, the Mikis category. Create a great network. It will be your network for life. And to answer the first question and to sum up, I can tell you, for me, success means being happy. And happiness comes from feeling free to choose what makes you happy. It's the greatest luxury in life to choose what makes you happy, not what you have to do. I've been very lucky for this. Success is not served to you on a silver plate. Success is your path to reach your dream and you need to be prepared that the path, the road towards your dream will be bumpy. You'll get disappointed, you will fall, you will feel pain, but pain will determine the quality of happiness. So pain is to be as a rebirth, not as a defeat. Success means even that you need to help others and to find the main answer in life, the answer to this question, what am I doing to make this world a better place? And if you are good in business and you're producing money every day and you are in this adrenalina, then you need to question yourself. What am I doing to impact positively not just my life, but other people's life? Okay, let's turn the page and go to the second question of my Instagram followers. It was, how do you make things happen and turn dreams into reality? For sure, I don't have a magical stick. Uh, just to make a visualization of how I see dreams for myself. Dreams for me are like the stars. You need to owe we one when the sky is clear and to be sure that there are more stars than human eyes. Owe we a star and that star can be yours, but its light can enlighten everyone. So be generous. I love Italy and I've been raised in a country that loves Italy and I've been growing with the Italian TV model. And one night, you know, I want to tell you a story that has signed my life, and it's one of the most beautiful moments of my uh, TV career. I was dreaming on being on the Italian TV. I was actually in uh, Maui, Hawaii, on the other side of the planet, very far for Christmas vacation with my family. And I woke up after a very beautiful dream where maybe subconsciously I was hearing a voice telling me, why don't you go for a big market, I'll get, I go for the Italian dream. After getting back from Hawaii to Albania, you know, I wrote my first email to the main TV channel in Italy. No one answered for a week. Then I found the number of a very known producer and I couldn't get the meeting again. I did a very long and deep research to find another door, and I was waiting for the door to be open, but nothing was happening again. Then I thought, okay, when the wind doesn't help your sail, don't abandon the boat, but change direction. So I continued with my research, and I found the contact of a very important producer of the Italian television industry. I did a call applying the famous golden rule, fake it until you make it. So I was behaving and acting like Alketa's manager. And you know, for my good luck, it was my lucky day, the secretary happened to be Albanian. So she helped me to get the meeting. 
I got the meeting and you know, since the first day I knew that inside me something beautiful was going to happen. Still for one year nothing happened uh, until it sparkled in my mind the idea to bring a monologue in Sanremo Festival that is the most important musical event in Italy's 70 years of tradition and story. Via this monologue, you know, I wanted to share a strong message about the connection and impact of art and music that emoliates the walls that politics build. Art and music build bridges and bring people together. I recorded a demo video and sent it to the manager and I stayed in the waiting leaks for three months. Deep inside me, I felt I would have the part. And you can't imagine what was for me that day when I received the news. The taken from this story is that nothing is easy, but nothing is impossible. You need to work on it, but never be scared to chase a dream that adds value to something, adds value to a nation, adds value to a company, to a TV show. When it's meant to be a success, it's going to be a success. People in their daily life, of course, have their problems, their challenges, their struggles. And I can understand that being there in that festival and being known for the Italian public is nothing of extraordinary for them. But for myself, in relationship to Alketa's dream, it was a little miracle. That was not an achievement to satisfy my ego, but it was, to be honest, a great opportunity for my voice and my message to be heard and also an opportunity to be an ambassador of my country in front of an audience of 30 times bigger. Albania is counting 3 million, Italy 60 million. The most important thing, I believed in it, I listened to my inner voice, yes, if you can dream it, you can make it, and I applied the 10x10 rule. That means I reached it because I tried 10 times more than someone did. I fell down 10 times. I got up 10 times stronger. I didn't surrender on my way. I spent 10 times more energy than someone else for the same purpose without never giving up. And I gave to myself, maybe until now, the greatest satisfaction of my professional story. And that is so fulfilling, to be honest. Third question of my Instagram followers. How do you do so many things at the same time? This was the third question. Yes, it's true, I'm a multitasking person. I am the founder of six brands and also I am a TV host, the most importantly, I'm also a, a daughter, a sister, a partner, a friend and a cousin. So let's say my to-do list is full, but it's not easy to be able to manage different things at the same time, but it can be done if you stay focused and positive. For me, being proactive is my alpha step. It keeps me calm when I start a project with that step. I always try to put first things first and I start my journey with a goal in my mind. When I know the goal, I can try to solve problems instead of focusing on the obstacles. So I'm a very solution-oriented person and trust me, there are obstacles in every little or big task. The other day I even started my day, for example, without uh, putting petrol in my car. So <laughs> I guess you know the rest of the story, I was stuck in the motorway. This means that you always will do mistakes, sometimes you will forget your priorities, sometimes you'll forget important things, but uh, I make sure to plan every next day a bit better and better, and I don't let anything or anyone distract me from my dreams and my goals. I'm very focused. I consider myself a student of a lifetime, the giant learner, you know the concept, be always a student and never a maestro, and learn until you live. Some simple advice here is to follow the practical advice from Eisenhower Matrix, which uh, Dwight Eisenhower designed. And I'd like to represent it for you. So if you want to do a lot of things at the same time, put the first things first. So do yourself what is important and urgent. Do yourself what is urgent and important is the things you have to do yourself. Plan what is important and not urgent. You can do it yourself. If you have tasks that are urgent but not important, delegate to someone else. And of course, we all have not urgent and not important things, so eliminate those tasks because the day has only 24 hours. Also, what I do to myself is I always go out of my comfort zone. Now my comfort zone at the moment is Albania. I know the market there, I know the country there, I can move very smoothly. I'm a well-known person, so it facilitates me all the, the flowing ideas I have to develop myself and my business. Uh, I know very well the market, the people, I've succeeded in TV world and in the best business world, so I can decide just to stay there and enjoy my comfort zone. And that's all. But I want to learn more of the world, so I have planned to grow my business in Italy and UK. And I feel like starting from zero again, but that's the beautiful journey of life, to keep growing and to keep chasing your dream.
Fourth and last question was, how is it possible that you seem so happy always and where does the strength come from you as you seem so positive all the time? Hmm. Well, I'm positive most of the time, happy most of the time, but of course I cry a lot. I doubt myself often, I have my own fragile parts, my own delicate parts, my own weaknesses. Uh, music and sport have helped me a lot and of course a lot of TED Talks. Uh, I come from a poor art lover family in Tirana. Things were not easy for me in my early years of childhood, but as a child of 12 years old, I could have been just focusing on my problems, on my parents' divorce. I could have been sad for my poverty, but no, I wanted to chase my dreams. And that girl, the 12 years old me, is always inside me and still inspires me every day. So follow your dreams and be the North Star for other people. We are all inspiring people without knowing. Influencers are not only those who appear on Instagram or social media. Real influence happens all day around us in silence. It's very important for what you think, important where you focus, what you talk about, who you follow, what you read. Eventually your life will become just that at the end. In order to have a 20 floors building, don't forget, you need more pillars, so I use my fragility, my pain, my failures as my pillars for a stronger building, so I can build on them, not be ruined by them. And also, you know, inside your chest, you have your beating heart right now. Listen to your heart and follow your heart. The heart is the first organ that was created in you when you were an embryo in your mom's belly. It was not your brain, so follow your heart and I think it will always lead you to the best choice. Thank you very much. Thank you.